and just like that it's Saturday. The weather is becoming so nice. Um, it's 10 in the morning and it's 76 degrees. Hi Stormy! Hi girl! Kids, some kids are taking um, probably, I need some probably, I have to bring the laundry upstairs. I'll get in a little bit, Milo. Um, it's been going good this morning. Went to bed late last night, watching Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Ca Caspian, which was so good. My favorite Chronicles of Narnia, I, don't, I think that was probably the second time I saw it. Um, but we have the first and the second, or first and the third, and we've been watching those all the time. And so, the second one I like a lot. So, trying to think what we're doing today. Probably going to do just some delivery orders. And I still have to sit down and do my Bible study, so I'm probably going to do that right when I walk in the house. Because if I don't, then that just gets pushed to the wayside, and I think about it all day. Like, I really want to get it done. I really want to get it done. So I got up at around 9 o'clock this morning. So I've been up for an hour. Ate breakfast with the kids. Talked about the movie. And it was a good time. So. Now. Just trying to map out the day. What we're going to do. How we're not going to waste the moments. Thunder is over there. Chasing up the ball, Jordan's outside in his PJs. But, um, I do need to head to Walmart and to Dollar Tree to get a few things. <sighs> Got a couple of, a uh, little bit of the grocery items yesterday. I need to iron out my meal plan and make sure I get everything else so that I can stay out of the grocery store and not overspend by $1,500. This month, which I think last month I overspent by $100. So tell me, it's just intentionality. I haven't done April's yet, but January, February, March, overspent for, by about $1,500 each month, and then started paying attention to it again in the month of August and overspent by like, I think, $94. So yeah, it's just being intentional in what you're doing. Yeah, we have a lot of people in our family, but it's just being intentional. So that's what I'm going to keep doing and keep going with our financial goals because that's what needs to happen. So I'm going to go inside and get this Bob study done. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So even though I went grocery shopping yesterday, I am I just made another grocery list today uh, to fill in the gaps. So as I thought about it some more. And as I'm trying to stick within my grocery budget, there's some things that we noticed this morning as we're trying to get like, oh, we don't have this, we don't have that. So that's okay. I'm gonna fill all those things in. But I'm not gonna go super overboard. I gotta check one more cabinet to see what else we might need. But I'm not gonna do the shop my shopping until like around five um, when I uh, am done doing housework. So just kicking this basket in front of me so I don't have to carry it. Um, uh, so I've done that, made a different grocery list from what I grabbed yesterday, which felt like a smart idea. Okay, we got good. And so um, I picked up $122 of groceries yesterday. And so today is the day to fill in the gaps and figure out the stuff that I missed and just really stay out of the grocery store unless I have a list. Um, that keeps all things in order, helps me understand what I'm supposed to be buying. And so I still need to go back to Aldi, to Walmart, which I haven't been to yet, and to Dollar Tree, possibly Dollar General. Now I'm still having a little bit of an issue trying to separate out my paper products from our food because the prices have changed so much. The paper products are really hijacking what we put in our stomachs. So still trying to figure that out. Um, not really sure exactly how I'm gonna go about doing that, but I feel like the Lord will help me. Um, really just narrow that down on what, what 
trying to do. So it's another Saturday here and I am in the laundry room talking to y'all. I feel like there's so many, so many videos in the laundry room, but hey, this is real life, I guess. I'm going to finish sorting out this laundry and then try to get some more cleaning done so that around five o'clock I can do the things that are relaxing and more fun to do and just like really not chaotic, which is keeping the house in order. Do you think I'm gonna get some bread made? I think I have two loaves of just regular wheat bread. Oh, so I guess you guys can follow along with me as I do all the things in life that keeps my house running smoothly. You know, one thing I really dislike doing, I don't mind getting laundry done. I don't mind folding laundry, just putting it away. This basket behind me was supposed to be put away like four days ago. And so it's still there. And uh, people are like, oh, why don't you have your own kids put away their stuff? <sighs> Honestly, me doing the laundry is how I keep track of what my kids need for clothing. Like if I see them wearing something, I no, no longer want them to be wearing. Laundry is where I get rid of it. Um, if I am making a list of clothes the kids need, it's through laundry. So laundry is how I keep tabs on what clothes my kids have and what they need. Um, I, and I can go through their closet when I'm putting it away and pull out things that they would need, get rid of things that are too small. Uh, I just, this is to me a way less chaotic. I don't like um, like the rush of, oh my kids need this clothes, you know, the, these clothing. To me that's way more expensive. So I'm usually like six months to a year ahead doing the laundry myself so like they have a set of clothing that they can touch and get dressed in and, and uh do whatever they want and play outside and get mud get muddy get holes in there's a specific set of clothing for that and then there's the closet which i manage which i like to rotate through because if you've if you've worn it once i really want it in the back of the closet because uh i know kids like to wear their favorite things but i should we just don't do that here because um it just ruins the clothing like there's there's certain things that's like oh we keep skipping this item so then we just get rid of it because they don't like it or i don't i think it's i don't know what i was thinking when i hung it up there whatever let's get rid of those items that we keep skipping so that every time you put on something is something you like but uh and i do the same thing in my closet as well so um yes sweetie pie honey bunch what what can I do for you? Oh. Hey y'all, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. Listen, we just went to Bargain Hunt. Well, first let me just talk about church this morning. So this is the first Sunday that I've gone back after telling everybody about my possible miscarriage. I won't know until Wednesday. Everyone has shown so much love and like the Lord was telling me while I was, um, there during worship that the reason why he told me to ask for prayer about the possible miscarriage was not for me and my discomfort or my comfort or any of that it was for his glory and that was just like oh hit me like a ton of bricks during worship um and then just so many people came up to me and just asked me how I was doing, if they could do anything for me. And I just feel so like seen and validated and stuff like that from people at our church, which I love so much. So it was a good, good, good morning. Um, and then I topped it off by going to bargain hunt people, my police bargain hunt. And I got all types of good stuff. Um, I just finished doing a grocery haul. So I'm not going to spare you from going through that again, but, um, I'm so excited because we got these doggy diapers. Like their tail goes through that little hole because Stormy, I think she's like six months. I'm not sure when her cycle's supposed to start and we wanna to try to have puppies. So I have three of them so I can put one on her and take it off, wash it, whatever. And then we can also put it on Thunder when she is off her cycle but in heat and he thinks it's a good time but she needs to wait till she's about two years old so we can put one on him too. So I am so thankful to find those. I paid a dollar each for these pet parent brand 
doggy diapers. They're a size extra large. I think I got three of them. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I think that's the only thing I'm really excited about. Other things is food things and, uh, but today was a good day at church. A really good day at church. I feel excited because um, my March 2023 food vlog hit over a thousand views. I'm so excited. Um, so it's just fun talking with people in the comments and sharing how we feed our family of nine people, plus or minus my mom. My mom does cook some meals at our house, but she does buy her own groceries. So sometimes she, she cooks a meal for us, sometimes she joins us for dinner. So that is, that is okay. But kids are watching Epic. Hazel's being super loud so they can't hear the movie. And I'm about to go and put this stuff away and take a seat myself because it's Sunday. It's, it's, it's rest in the Lord day and I'm here for it. And this, this is Sunday evening. We're at a random park that Devon saw when he was doing an order, a delivery order. Brooklyn's rollerblading up and down the street. Girlfriend, what you doing, girl? <laughs> what you doing, girlfriend? Hi. <laughs> what y'all playing? Jordan trying to kill you guys? Let's see it. Let's see it. Super fast. Whoa. I didn't know you can go super fast. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. Mom, I actually jumped. You actually jumped? I yes, love it. It's a whistle. Oh, wow. That's actually really cool. This? Those are like flying saucers or something. I'm going to climb up the mountain. Really? We're all going with you. We're going to climb How's it going, Devon? Pretty good. Walking around these bad dogs. No. I want to be happy. I have to get happy. I'd like to try to stay on here. You have to do something dangerous. Milo, let's make a level. Milo, let's make a level. Okay. But you failed. Good morning, good morning. It is 9.40 in the morning. I'm headed to take Hazel to her first doctor's appointment in Decatur. She's been to the doctor maybe one other time. So I'm trying to get the kids all established uh, in Decatur. We've been here for over a year and this is their first doctor's appointment. Um, so I took two kids last week, doing Hazel by herself this week. And then I think I have two more kids to take next week and then two other kids to take one the last week of September, maybe. So that is the plan for today. Um, I mean, if you guys have been following me, you know that I've had signs of a miscarriage. And yesterday I actually miscarried. but I'm doing okay. The Lord is with me. He's given me so much peace. Um, so much hope. Joy in the midst of tragedy. Okay. Somebody just made a right turn right in front of somebody else. That was weird. Um, and so I'm just thankful that he was with me and that I was still able to sleep last night what occurred. I'll probably do a separate video on like all my feelings and the timeline and things probably later today just so I can remember 
well. Um, but today is a new day. His mercies are new every single day. I'm just so thankful he's my God and that he loves me. And he loved the, the baby that we lost. And I'm just thankful that he's a God that understands and, and provides the comfort that I need. Um, so yeah, Devon stayed home. He's working from home today so he could be with me and help me with anything I needed. Um, he offered to take Hazel to her appointment, but I wanted to take her because it was her first appointment here, so. Um, but, yeah, uh, we're doing okay for school. A little bit of attitudes going around here, saying they didn't get enough sleep and things, but. We're just, pu you know, I'm just pushing through some times kids have attitudes and. trying to give them grace in that and also help them understand that just because you don't feel good doesn't mean you don't you get to act any way that you want so you know just life you know definitely keeps moving forward and I'm thankful that in the way that God created me and how my mind works and things that uh I'm just able to, to move forward with that. And, you know, there may be a time where I have to get by myself and cry, and that's okay. That is absolutely fine, and I'm willing to let myself do that. But today, right now, this minute, I feel really strong. So, just pulling into the doctors right now, and off to get my little baby, her little checkup, right, girlfriend? right girlfriend that's my girl right there yes you are you're so sweet give mama a toothache how sweet you are all right let's do this girlfriend About an hour and five minutes later, we're leaving the doctor's office. There was a little bit of a waiting time, but I really like the nurse practitioner that the kids are seeing. She wanted to give the kids five shots or give Hazel five shots today, and I was not. She she mentioned five. Okay, so let me actually make sure I represent her in the right light. She recommended that she have five shots, and she wants to give her three of those five shots, and I said two. Uh, because I, I really don't mind vaccinations uh, for the most part, but uh, I want to know what they do, and then I reject the ones that I don't want them to have. Um, simple as that. And so she agreed with not poking her three times because I, I thought one was oral, but she's uh, she's aged out of oral. Uh, she's aged out of oral ones, so she was going to get three pokes, and I was like, no, we can do two pokes. Um, today and so that's what we did and she did she cried on the second one she looked at me like mom I thought you were my mom right girl you did she's so cute but she's good now um, we're about to head home and wrap up as much school as we can Mondays are our day where we can kind of not be so like rigid because we don't have anything to do in the evening on Mondays and so uh, it doesn't feel so like forced but I'm kind of going to try to move forward because I want the kids to be done. I want them to enjoy stuff. There's a movie that they want to watch uh, that I purchased like four or five days ago that they, maybe maybe three or four days ago, that they want to watch. So I want to get that in for them and uh, just cleaning up the house, making the food. I got to make bread today. I'm going to try to make six loaves today. We'll see how that goes. And then I got to get my meal plan solidified. Now I have a meal plan, but I need it to be more concrete to make sure I'm saving money well um, so we shall see um, I just got a text message from one of my former managers to tell me that she received a call from a job that I applied to a remote position a contract position um, I just enjoy working so much um, I love doing all the things I do at home but I also love corporate corporate stuff too so 
hopefully I get this job or think that I'm well equipped really for any job honestly um, I think that I you know you sell yourself but I think that I work well and I think I get the job done and I think I manage my manager which my last full-time manager taught me how to do that well and it really he just launched me into adult career life in a way that helps me ask good questions and take on any job that comes my way there's some jobs that are like, but I think most jobs I can even though I don't like it and my husband's a lot so we're very much the same in that way that we're like we can work any job whether we like it or not and we can do it with a cheerful heart and I just love that so much about him he will work anywhere to help us like I remember like him being laid off a few different times and him like okay he's working at Burger King okay he's working at this taco joint and like even with severance packages he was still like no I'm going out and I'm gonna get a job as well so like and he'll go there and he'll do the job and he'll do the best job he can and I just love that so much about him because if there's one thing he's gonna do he's gonna work it doesn't matter if all of the people that he knows comes to the Burger King that he works at, he's gonna work. He's gonna work there, he's gonna smile, he's gonna make his friends burgers, and he's not gonna feel ashamed for it. And I just love him so much for that. He is so into, no, 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 no. No matter what happens, I will have a job for my family. So, I had to feel the same way too. I, I wish that I could, if, if there was a job that I would leave the house for, and I could do it like with my kids with me, it would be McDonald's. I love McDonald's. I worked there for four years. I was a manager for two years. I love their system and their processes. I would love to own one. Um, but it's difficult to raise a family on that salary, which makes sense because that's not, that's a lot, like a crew person is not a long time career at McDonald's. And it's never meant to, it was never meant to be a long time career. You really want to move into management you really want to be a general manager you really want to be a store manager you really want to be an owner that's the career move for mcdonald's but i'm just not able to do that and put that time into it right now so but anyways hopefully this uh job comes through we'll see we'll see we'll see and now i'm about to head home and i don't know what i'm doing next i think I have everything lined up on the table. I think we're getting into science as soon as I get home with the kids, work through that, get lunch together, and finish out the day strong. So, oh, she's already going to sleep. I love her so much. Another day of driving a child to school. It is Tuesday, and I got Hazel in the back with me. You can see her little face right there, right there. Um, just dropped Jordan off at school, headed home, had a late night, went to bed at like 2 a.m. 2 a.m., a.m., a.m. Oh, that's the price of rice, I guess. So, now headed home to uh, do as much as I can on the school day before I have to pick this child back up from school. And um, last night, a uh, family brought us dinner, which was really nice. Something else I didn't have to think about. Um, and so we're probably gonna have that dinner for lunch today. So I'm just thankful for our church family in this time after uh, my miscarriage. It was just so sweet of them to care for us. And uh, man, I just can't express how much peace I feel um, when I don't know if you'd ask me you know how would you feel after you had, if you had a miscarriage I think I would I would have thought like chaotic unable to focus not able to like move forward with my routine at least for a few days and I know everybody's different and if that's the way that you need to process it I applaud you for recognizing and noticing that. Um, but for me, um, the peace that I feel from the Lord is is my testimony. Like He is good and He will always be good. He's never been bad. He's never given me bad things um, that are detrimental in the scope of eternity. So I am 
thankful for his love and his grace and his mercy. It is, it is really everything. It's everything that I need to lean on. It's everything. I don't know what this day holds in store. The, the weather's getting cooler still, so I'm so for it. And I would like to just, yesterday was a long day. I I think I had a, oh yes, Hazel had a doctor's appointment yesterday. So I'm hoping for today to not spend all day doing school. I didn't finish till like eight o'clock last night almost. Um, not just straight all the way through. We did stop for dinner. Um, I know some kids were outside playing and stuff, but a lot of times, I get oh, stuck at the table all the way through because I'm switching back and forth between children. So it's like, yeah, they're free. They can play uh, when when they're done whatever assignment they have at hand. But I'm still checking. And I like to check every day because there's been seasons where I haven't checked every day. And it's like, okay, that was a bad idea. Now you've been doing this wrong all week and we have to correct it. And so I find that to be more work. So checking every day, I think, is much better. It, for me, it, it allows for them to be independent earlier because I could trust their competence in reading directions and uh, executing whatever they have at hand. So I think that's good. But I am about to get off of this and listen to more podcasts. Actually, I should probably listen to there's another podcast I need to listen to on YouTube. I think I'm going to switch that out. And get this day going. almost over it's 7 44 um we had leftover baked spaghetti um we had a friend drop it off yesterday um and so we had it again for dinner tonight and um a salad um and then we had some garlic bread they brought garlic knots we ate that yesterday repeat was tonight and we'll probably have it again either for lunch tomorrow or dinner so it'll be three nights of dinners from this friend that brought us dinner so i am super thankful for that um so now we're just trying to tidy up jordan's at work i have been trying to fix fix my printer because uh, technology is good when it works and frustrating when it doesn't and so our wire my wireless printer is not working won't wirelessly wirelessly print anything which is annoying and uh it is just i'm take it's taking like lots of time to figure out how to print things and so this weekend i have to get this i have to get this fixed this weekend because i can't waste any more time doing this um so i'm just tidying up the school room uh Who did that? Oh, a dog just pooped on the floor. Let me figure out which dog did this. Cannot figure out which dog pooped in the house. Oh, these dogs. These dogs, these dogs, these dogs. Definitely, we probably messed ourselves up because we were taking the dogs out every 30 minutes when we first got them. Then every 50 minutes, then every hour than every two hours and now either one of them don't really know how to signal us to tell us they need to go outside 
So that's probably partly our fault, but we don't really know how to fix it. We have little kids, so like a do uh, dog doorbell or whatever won't really work because the younger kids are gonna play with the, door the doorbell. So if you have any ideas about how to get these dogs to let us know they wanna go outside, then they don't go in the house a lot because we're still taking them out every three hours. Um, uh, every three hours, two kids grab the dogs and take them out, but uh, it's still annoying that neither one of them will bark or anything to really let us know they wanna go outside. They'll go by the door that they normally go out of, so you know they want to communicate to us, but they just don't know how, and I don't know how to train them to do that. Plus, I'm busy, so I'm not really looking into how to train them to do that. <laughs> so, if you have any quick tips, thoughts, suggestions, on how to do that. That would be helpful. What are you two doing? Just playing around. I've been braiding a little bit of hair. Dad's bathing kids. I'm just trying, you know, to survive here in the land of crazy, in the land of beautifully chaotic. Ha ha. <sighs> but I'm so full. I had a yeah. Zoom meeting today, but it got canceled because the host's internet went out. So it does gave me some time to do some things that I would have been tied up for that for that hour doing. So I'm thankful for that. Hey, pretty girl. What's up? Can I play gravity maze? Yes. yes. Um, you need to when you're finished school, you need to clean up after yourself. All. All this stuff needs to be put away. Mm. I already put it, moved some stuff already and I'm throwing this in the garbage. But I'm gonna clean. And then, you know, who knows what. 